Hello, everyone. Today we are going to discuss the optimal account balancing problem in lead code number four hundred and sixty-five. Um, let's first read uh, what's the question of this problem. So you are given a group of friends, uh, uh, went on holiday, holiday and sometimes uh, lend each other money. Uh, for example, Alice paid Bill ten dollars and Chris gave Alice five dollars. And this uh, set of transactions are represented as a tuple x, y, z, which means person x gave person y z dollars. So, for example, you are gi given uh, a set of transactions 0, 1, 10, and 2, 0, 5. Uh, you ha uh, some people own money, or some people uh is lending money so given a list of such trans transactions uh, among a group of people uh, our job is to find out what's the minimum number of transactions required to settle the debt so let's uh, take a look at the example and uh, make a sense uh what's what's the meaning of settling the debt so first you are given uh two transactions zero one ten and uh, two zero five that means uh there are two people um the two people in the first transaction uh zero and one uh people zero spends ten dollars to people one that means uh, for the first transaction, uh, person one uh, obtains ten dollars from person zero, and uh, this is the uh, transaction one. For the transaction two, you have one more person called uh, person two, and the person two gives person zero five dollars so the balance of zero is uh, minus five and the uh, person one's balance uh, keeps as the same and the uh, person two since person two gives five dollars so person two also has minus minus five dollars so this is the uh, initial debt and balance of each people of the game in the first transactions. So how to settle these steps? Um, to settle, so step one should be uh, person one gives person zero five dollars. That means uh, we have settled down person zero and person one have just five dollars and uh, person two doesn't have change the balance. And the second step is to let person one gives person T two five dollars. And uh, this step settled down uh, all the person uh and uh so the the answer should be return number two two steps of course there are multiple ways to settle down multiple ways to ways to settle down the problem However, the uh, requirement of the question is to return the minimum steps we should require to settle this uh, settle this set of transactions. So how to do this uh, after finishing reading the example? So the first step is uh, obvious to see that we should uh, set up the 
uh, initial uh, balance or depth for all people. Um, this step can uh, using the transactions and uh, we make sure hash, hash map to uh, store those transactions and uh, calculate what's the depth of each people. And the second step is to uh, focus on non-zero uh, balance person. Since uh, from the example we have seen, uh, if the people has the zero balance, that means the person has been settled. So we just focus on non-zero balance person. And uh, starting non-zero balance, we do DFS recursion to find out the minimum steps to settle down. So let's for, uh, let's write the code. Um, so let's first uh, set set up the initial balance. Uh, one special case, of course, is the import input is the none. I mean, sorry, uh, transactions is none. All transactions. The length is zero. We should just return zero since there's no steps should be done. So we initiate the hash map new hash map so in this step, there is a for loop to settle down the transactions. That means for each transaction, we calculate the balance of each person and put those numbers in the hash map. Put and so and uh, for clear. For convenience, we set a data structure here. Each transaction is uh, has three elements: sender, receiver, and uh, amount of the transaction. Uh, map dot get all default and the transaction zero. It's a minus transaction minus the amount. Um, also, the receiver also receives such amount. So using this for loop, we have finished the initiate the balance of each person, and the next step is to, uh, to do a DFS and return what number of steps. So we just uh, do a DFS using the, uh, using the balances. So we just need the values part of that map. So the input of DFS should be. Map to values, and uh, we assume the initial starting point uh, is zero. Uh, but we stress that um the starting point should be found in the DFS function, so we just uh, put zero here, and in the in the DFS function we uh should skip skip those zero starting points and just focus on non-zero points. So this is the main function we have written, uh, we had finished. Um, the most important part of the, this question is actually uh, such a DFS recursion function. Uh, the input is uh, integer list, which recalls the person's values. Uh, let's call this list as balance. And uh, 
the starting point. So the main recursion is that uh, we do a for loop from the starting point from start uh, from up to the starting point and uh, finding those uh, values which have different uh, sign. That means after that is the size and the i equals plus. Once we find the uh, uh, balance, so get i. This has a different balance value, uh, negative, uh, and different sign of the uh, value of the starting point. Remember, it's minus than zero. Then we do the following processing. First, we we should settle settle the balance at the position i i plus and start get dot. And next step is to uh go into the next uh, round of uh, um depth first search. Uh, we should initiate the uh, uh, variable called steps, which is the uh, account the number of steps we need. And uh, since we have settled the uh, values, steps should be put should be the minimum uh, should be one plus DFS balance and uh, start plus one. Uh, again, since we are finding a minimum number of steps, so here we must uh, keep updating the steps variable and keep it as the minimum steps should be taken. So this should be minimum value. And don't forget after do the DFS recursion and before we go into next DFS recursion, we should recover the balance at the position i. Since the way need to go into the next round. This is a very classic uh, write up for um, DFS recursion. Uh, that's the main part of the. Uh, DFS recursion to find the minimum number of steps and uh, after finding we should uh, return the number of steps one more thing is that what should be the um, what should be the termination requirement of the DFS recursion uh, it's not hard to see that if the starting point has reached the end of the balance list that means uh, we have uh, the start uh, index is uh, equal to the balance dot size. That means we have reached the end of the recursion, so we should return zero. And another important uh, step is that, uh, as we have mentioned, we just uh, uh, focus on non-zero balance person. So at the very beginning, we uh, at each recursion, actually, we assume the start point is a uh, uh, non-zero balance person, but uh, it's uh, possible that uh, at the start point, uh, the balance is zero. So at the very beginning, we should uh, determine what should be, uh, if the, uh, whether the balance is zero or not. If it's zero, we just skip those positions. So when start is less than the balance size and uh, the balance that get start is equal to zero. We just uh, skip those positions. So that's basically the answer. Let's run the code. It looks good. And uh, yeah, we have the, uh, we have the answer correctly.
So this is a very interesting questions. Um, let's first uh, analyze the the next step should be analyzing the time complexity and uh, space complexity. Uh, actually, this question is kind of hard to analyze because, uh, actually, in theory, it's a uh, hard problem. Uh, I recommend uh, readers to see this paper. Actually, this question, uh, the little question is uh, from uh, this paper, which is called Settling Multiple Depths uh, Efficiently. This is a very uh, good uh, good uh, computer, theory, computer science theory paper. And actually, the this question is an uh, MP-hard problem. Uh, actually, strictly, it's an MP-complete problem. So I think uh, this question, uh, this code just uses some cases, uh, very uh, small scale cases, such that uh, we can go through these uh, questions. Uh, so actually we can give a map to uh, uh, give a very immediate, immediate recursion map uh, of this question. Um, and the uh, recursion, actually, we are starting at each position of the uh, of the balance loop. So, uh, because we are incrementing the start for each recursion call, the loop will be in fashion of n and m minus one and minus two until we reach the end, we have one. So the time complexity is uh, O over the n times n minus 1 and minus 2 and uh, blah blah until we times 1. So the space complexity mainly from the we are using hash map and uh, yeah basically we are using the hash map to store those initial balance. So the space complexity of this question is uh, linear. Yeah that's all. Thank you.